My name is Jim Alley, owner of Profile Racing. Today we're going to go through the process of where our cranks originate and how the material that we use is formed into the strength that makes our cranks probably the number one crank for a long, long time. We've been doing this process since 1980. At first we did do the fabricated crank, which are our retro cranks, but we switched over about 1980, 81 I should say, that we decided we'd go to a swedge crank. It makes a stronger crank because it actually moves metal from from the big end of the crank down to the small end, actually making the small end of the crank, the tubing actually thicker. It's a pretty cool process. It's a pretty loud process that you'll see here. These are a pair of swedge dies. They're made out of uh, S7 tool steel. They're very, very hard. Uh, we make dies here. These two pieces here go together. They slide into the swedger here. When we go through the swedging process, the tubing is fed in, tapers the tubing down, making this end of the crank arm thicker. We've got it down to a pretty good science. We've done tens and tens of thousands of these. We're gonna get ready to do some cranks here. Uh, earmuffs are necessities. You find out when I turn this machine on. From here we're going to go to the process. What we do is we cut the, uh, cut the crank in half. We wind up with a pair of cranks. This is basically a, uh, a big pipe cutter is what it is. Slide it in, hit this here. The blade comes down and you wind up with uh, a pair of cranks. And then we're going to take those pieces, those sample pieces we did, we're going to go up to our other shop and we're going to put them in a die and we're going to flatten them into uh, what will eventually be our elite crank. This is what's known as a press brake. I think it's a 30 ton press brake. Uh, that means it's got 30 tons of pressure coming down and either you're bending sheet metal with it. What we did is we made a special set of dies. There's an upper die and a lower die. We can go ahead and put our piece in here and it's going to form it. It's going to form this into the shape for an elite crank is what it's going to do. That's what you wind up getting. That's the shape of the elite crank. Very quick process. On, on this, you're doing half of the, half of the uh, crank is what you're doing, so you got to make that whole die that's going to encapsulate the whole crank when it comes down and comes together. So, uh, And we know how much we want to smash it on either end to make it work in all our welding fixtures. Now that's, like I said, that's the elite die. This die, set of dies here, this is for our regular cranks die for doing our column cranks. If you look at it, it's a little different section, the elite versus the column. These are the original dies for our retro cranks and what it would do, uh, this stays stationary in the press brake, very similar to that. This is S7 tool steel, very sharp on the edges, and when it comes down, it punches through. That's sort of a skeleton of what you get, and that's originally uh, how our uh, retro cranks were made. Let's start it. Leaves from this shop here, goes down to our other shop, goes back in the mill. Crank went through the milling operation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tack the caps on here. From here, we won't do it now, but it goes into a fixture. The bosses are put on it and tacked in place. The gusset is put on, and then this goes into a rotary table where it rotates and the welding is done. Sometimes you got to go through a little, little tweaking on them. Making sure this is centered properly on either, either side. Close this up here. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a little tack on here. Clamp, clamp this down. And we're going to go ahead and tack. And go ahead and get the other side here.
That's gotten the crank all ready to go into a fixture now. The fixture will hold, the, hold these bosses in the right position on the fixture. These will all be tacked in place, like so. The gusset will go on and be tacked in place, and then it'll go on to the welding operation. There's a lot of welding on it. It takes a good half hour plus to weld. And when it's done, it's uh, quite a piece of craftsmanship. This is a crank that Profile is really, really proud of. We worked hard on developing this, and uh, it's pretty bulletproof. It's made in America here, all Profile's product, as you've seen from the video. We're very proud of what we do here. More information, you can go to ProfileRacing.com. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.